So to briefly summarize, uh, for the last two years or so, there's been um, ongoing conflict in Syria. And I've been asked, is this a civil war? Um, it does appear to be a civil war. You basically have the um, forces of the current president of Syria, Bashar al-Assad, uh, fighting uh, alongside uh, Hezbollah, which is the Islamic Shiite movement from South Lebanon, and uh, some uh, members of the Iranian elite forces and revolutionary guards fighting against the Free Syrian Army, which is uh, a group of uh, sort of uh, largely Sunni fighters, um, many of whom are Syrian, uh, some uh, are Libyan and other uh, foreign Sunni Muslim fighters um, who are financed by uh, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and the UAE largely, sort of in a clandestine fashion often, up against the forces of uh, Bashar al-Assad and, um, and Iran, the Iranian forces there, and Hezbollah. This has been a very bloody war. According to the United Nations, there's been uh, well over 70,000 deaths so far in uh, Syria today, and the number continues to grow at an alarming rate as the world stands by and watch, watches all of this horrible uh, bloodshed. In terms of uh, solutions for the situation in Syria, it is a very complex situation with a lot of foreign powers involved in the conflict. Unfortunately, I don't see, at least in the short term, any sort of diplomatic solution to the conflict, which would be my preference. Uh, because President Assad uh, simply refuses to negotiate. The most workable uh, long-term solution to the conflict in Syria would be to have Turkish involvement in Syria. Um, now, the Turks aren't necessarily eager uh, to do this. However, um, there is really no other country in the MENA region that has the ability to uh, put an end to the conflict. The Turkish uh, military could if it chose to do so. We have seen some very strong statements from the Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan uh, in support of the Free Syrian Army. Um, his country houses many of the Free Syrian Army members, trains them. Um, there have been some brief little border skirmishes, um, but if that ever heats up, now certainly Iran and Hezbollah will fight to the end because this is a matter of, uh, of, of national interest for Iran. It's a matter of survival for Hezbollah. It's sort of turned into, uh, unfortunately, a very sectarian conflict sort of between Shiites and Sunnis um, in many ways. The Russian uh, leadership, including President Putin, have uh, consistently been opposed to uh, foreign intervention, particularly U.S. intervention in Syria. And so that complicates the situation. In addition, on the other side, uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia um, and some of the other Gulf countries, Qatar and others, have uh, been uh, funding, training, and arming the members of the Free Syrian Army and some of the groups fighting against Bashar's forces. This is really, truly an international conflict. Um, now, if the United States were to make the decision that it was going to get involved in a, in, such, in, in a way as it did in Libya, for example, I do think certainly that would turn the tide uh, in the conflict and uh, we would see Bashar uh, al-Assad removed from power. Uh, but I don't uh, see right now that President Obama and the American people in general are uh, eager to get involved in Syria. It's a very uh, complicated situation. Uh, it's a civil war type of situation. Um, and um, they're obviously concerned about uh, loss of lives. In addition, um, there are not necessarily um, the same sort of uh, interests, economic and otherwise, in Syria as there might have been in, say, Libya or Iraq or elsewhere. Mm -hmm.